Now the next point is what is SDLC and STLC or what is the difference in between SDLC that is software development life cycle and software testing life cycle. Okay, these two are the different uh, phases of uh, any product development um, life cycle. So here SDLC refers to a complete product development life cycle. Okay, in case of SDLC, each product has to go through these phases. First is requirement gathering, second analysis, third design, next is coding, testing and deployment. So here, this complete cycle represents the steps which are involved in SDLC. Now, all of us know that we have a particular life cycle in every um, uh, person's uh, life. So in that case, the every person has to go through a different phases from born to death. Similarly, every software has to go through the SDLC, which is called as software development life cycle till its deployment. Okay. So initially, the first step in SDLC is requirement gathering. Okay, so before moving forward toward the requirement gathering, I would like to just introduce uh, like uh, who are the person or who are the team members who are responsible for all these phases. Okay, so initially the requirement gathering is done by the BA. BA is nothing but the business analyst who is present in the team of software development. Okay, so this particular BA will collect and requirement of our development of a particular software from the client or we can say a product owner and that product owner will provide the requirement uh, in functional format. The role of business analyst is to communicate with the customer and convert that requirement into the format in such a way that the developer can understand it. So that uh, the role of business analyst here is to convert the requirement into the understandable format of uh, develop any developer. So BA will convert that format and he will prepare one document which is called as business requirement document or BRD. Okay, so that document will be shared throughout the all the team members from developer till tester and user. Okay. So here, once uh, the particular um, requirement is uh, completed, okay, decision that what a particular thing has to be carried out or which software is to be developed. So once it is completed, so that requirement finalized document will be given in the design phase. Okay, after analysis of business, so it will be given to the design phase here. Okay, initially he will gather the requirement, then he will do the analysis and convert it to the format so that it, uh, it can be understandable technically to the developer and the testers as well. Now the next phase is design phase in the SDLC. So in this design phase, they will the developer will decide uh, like how will be the flow and which particular uh, module has to be developed after what which module. So it is called as a design, which is also called as the flow of the software. So they will uh, plan the design before actual implementation or we can say a coding. So after design, the next phase comes that is called as coding. Here the developer according to the design which they have made as per that design, the developer uh, try to prepare a code. Okay, or implement that particular uh, decided design. Okay, once that design is completed, the developer will do the unit testing. We can say a testing of that particular module at, at the at this phase, which is called as the coding phase. Okay, here, once they have completed the testing or unit testing at the coding phase, and they come to know about that. Um, and that uh, they have completely clarified or uh, they are satisfied with that uh, uh, coding and they are uh, able to generate an output as per the requirement from the client then they will um, that developer will give that particular uh, completed module to the tester and tester will start testing on their environment and once tester will give the positive feedback to the customer that there is no any bug or any defect in the software then it will be given to the production deployment or to the user. 
so in this process of testing there might be an error or bug occurs so whenever any error or any bug occurs after the de development so tester has a um, right to uh, discuss that bug or defect with the business analyst with the developer once they are that developer will come to know about that defect is correct then developer will automatically give or that particular bug to the uh, he will try to implement the things or he will try to reduce or remove the bugs from the system and again he will hand over that uh, particular software to the tester for testing that particular bug get resolved then it will be going for the deployment to the production if there is no any bug and there is positive feedback from the um, testing or tester so you it then after testing uh, that particular software will be tested by a user uh, and they will give the positive feedback that user has accepted your testing or your model and it uh, and actually the it will be given to user for using that particular product so in this way in this complete sdlc there are different roles at a different level the first role comes here is a project manager so project manager task here is to arrange the meetings in between the client and the team who is going to work on that particular requirement okay after that he is taking the updates in daily meetings that is uh, what work has done and what work to be done uh, in a given timeline okay then after that there is a role of uh, business analyst now what business analyst will do he will collect the requirement from the client and uh, he will prepare one document which is called as business requirement document and then that particular business requirement document is converted is prepared in such a way that developer can understand what the user want okay in the technical language once uh, so here the role of business analyst uh, uh, is there in this particular stage then there is next phase of design and development so in this phase the role of developer will start developer will design that document that particular requirement in proper format and they will start working or implementing that particular design okay then after that the next important role that is tester and user so these are the total member who are there for every project so that testers may be one or two or it's depend on the requirement of the from the business once that tester will start the testing then that uh, software or that particular module is assigned to the UAT that is user acceptance testing which is very important here the user will perform all those phases which are performed by um, tester and then the deployment will occur here so which is called as software development life cycle okay now there is one more life cycle here i am mentioning that is software testing life cycle now this particular life cycle is only present or occurred at this phase at this testing phase so what are the different uh, we can say the stages for this stlc so the first stage is that uh, the requirement gathering so <clears throat> as tester has to uh, work on what uh, uh, testing they have to do so they will gather the requirement and then they will do the test planning uh, from the requirement and after test planning they try to design uh, the plan like which are uh, things to be tested first they will prioritize the things to be tested okay so that is called as test design once that test design is completed the, they will uh, prepare their environmental setup as per the test design or the test cases which they have formed and from that uh, environment uh, setup they will actually execute the test cases which are decided in the test design okay and then test closure will be done means he, uh, that tester will give a sign of uh, notice or we have completed the testing now check at your end so in this way it will give he will give the notification to the client or the customer regarding um, the sign off or we have completed the testing from our side okay so these are actually as in sdlc stlc all the phases are related to testing so this stlc is carried out in at the tester environment okay so before going forward i would like to tell you there are three basic environment which are present normally in 
any standard uh, software development company okay so the first is uh, developer environment second is tester environment and third is actual production or the user environment which is called it so and the developer in the all three three uh, environments are similar in nature they are built in such a way that uh, that can be used for development testing and uh, UAT purpose. Okay, so these three environment are parallel to each other. So in the development environment, developer will develop the code and he will do the unique testing or the uh, the testing which is uh, like overall testing we can say which is carried out at the that particular developer level. Then in the QA we can say the quality assurance environment or the tester environment. Actual testing process in deep will be carried out by the testers. And if they found any defect or bug, they will immediately notify to the developer and the business analyst. Okay. If there is no any uh, error or bug they found, then they can uh, sign up or we can say they can go to the test. Okay. Okay. And then they will perform the testing at this phase. Okay, so in this way, uh, once they have completed the deep testing, uh, that particular uh, module is tested by the user uh, at his level and once user has tested that particular module that is given to the um, deployment or we can say the production and user can use that particular module okay so these two are uh, actually the important and important differences in between sdlc and the stlc so Normally, we are focusing here on STLC, which is software testing life cycle. Okay, so uh, just I would like to say here in the test planning phase of this STLC, um, the actual test planning and uh, will be done over here. And uh, in that, how many testers are required, how much time will be required for a particular requirement to be complete or testing. So that is decided. These timeline strategies are being decided over here. Uh, and uh, um, after that, actual test case writing means actual which will be the scenarios we have to test that will be performed. And then, um, they, if they require, if testers require any resources or any anything from the developer uh, from for the testing purpose, so then they can take it from the they will communicate it with the BA and BA will try to uh, give those things or support the, those resources to the tester so that uh, the testing process will successfully get completed okay so in stlc again there are uh, different models uh, are there um, so that we are going to study now in the next um, thing so the first model that is waterfall model uh, so this is the traditional model uh, so which was used traditionally again the second model which we are going to study that is b model which is the next model for the testing purpose third is agile model which is the latest and the advanced model uh, which nowadays many standard companies are using and they are storing their uh, or complete data on the jira or zoho okay and then spiral model we have in that we are going to study um, like how uh, the spiral uh, the testing process will occur and for which system this spiral model is suitable then we are going to know about what is the iterative model like how many iterations will be occurred in that complete testing process and which uh, for which type of softwares or which type of uh, we can say a requirement this iterative model is used so that we are going to study here in the iterative model now all these models, uh, what is the meaning of these all models? Actually, these models uh, are used for, they are having the different functionality at their level and they are used for uh, different requirements according to the, according to the client. Okay. Um, like there are some requirements who are small scale requirement. There are some requirements who are having, uh, who in which we have to develop a complete product or some in some requirements we have to generate the iterations we can say and those iterations will be uh, generated uh, for a particular software. Uh, so that four parts we have to, uh, so according to that, uh, these models are differently separated. So that we are going to know like which model is used for which type of requirement. So in detail, in the with the example, we will study all these models, uh, which every software testing lifecycle has to follow. 
and when to use all these models that is so we are going to know through these particular um, uh, types of models okay so again uh, we will uh, go forward with the software development software testing models 